Soup Dragons have just released a single called Backwards Dog, which is taken from their new album, which will be released on Big Life later on in the year. Despite having kept quite a low musical profile recently, Sean Dixon and Jim McCulloch are still confident that the band haven't been forgotten. I don't think people would have forgotten about us. No, I hope not. I mean, obviously, there's been a lot of other things in that period of time that have happened, but I don't think people have forgotten about us. Well, do you think people might see it as a comeback because you haven't been doing anything for quite a while? I hope not, because I think comebacks suck. Really horrible things. If it's a comeback, it, if anything, it's um, just a rethink, you know, rethought process in the band. It was a kind of weird time. We, wanted to, we didn't know if we wanted to split up, you know, it was just a kind of, you know, like, we woke up one day and said, come on, let's split up for a laugh, you know. Then the next day it wasn't. Just a weird period we went through last year. Didn't really know if we wanted to carry on. Not for the fact it wasn't the music that, that kind of were actually playing together that didn't make us want to carry on. It was the fact that like everything else, we didn't know if we wanted to go, wanted to go through the whole cattle market thing again, you know. It's really good being in Big Life because of the fact the bands on Big Life are so different. I mean, um, I, I mean, I really like all the bands in Big Life for what they are. I mean, like. Um, ranging from cold cut to uh, the, like De La Soul. I mean, I really like De La Soul. I think there's kind of slight similarities in what we try to do and what De La Soul are trying to do, you know what I mean? I mean, not on the dance side of things, obviously, but it's kind of, I can see slight things. And obviously, I mean, like, when Yaz became successful, it obviously um, made the company a lot stronger and things, which has helped. I mean, it's kind of helped everybody else because it's a much more professional thing that we're dealing with now. You know, in a way, it's like, it's like, um, it's good because they kind of respect us and what we do and we respect them now. And, and it just works, you know. I mean, we don't kind of go about it. It's, it's also good because the bands are so different. I mean, we kind of, I suppose we did get slight influences by the things on it, you know. That's why we're like, we have been playing about, about with things like, like drum machines and samplers, as you say. But we've not been doing it in a kind of dance orientated, um, way, you know, and I'm not really into that kind of thing to do myself. Do you think you've got to be more competitive nowadays? Not at all. Far from. Mm. I think we're opposite now. I think we're less competitive than we used to be. Because there used to be like a kind of certain marketplace we were put in that people were trying to sell us in. And um, although we didn't like it, we just had to kind of lump it, you know what I mean? It was just the way the things were. But now, like, we've made it quite, I mean, we made all the the point's quite strong before we came back that we didn't want to be sold as a kind of, in any certain marketplace. We just wanted to be taken for what we are. And we're quite lucky that we're allowed to do that now. And it's weird, because we don't, I mean, we, we don't know what, it's quite funny coming back after such a long time, we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know even though, like, it's people, kind of, music people are going to, you know, bracket us in with, and it's hard to tell now. Yeah. It's, the competition, if there is any competition, it's all totally varied, you know, we're not, it's not one style of music anymore, I wouldn't say. I've got a lot of respect for a lot of bands, but I've also got a lot of resentment for a lot of bands. But, I mean, I don't go about showing it like a lot of other people do. Well, don't you have a feeling of self-importance at all? Not really, no. We don't kind of look into it that deeply. Like, we are, we are what we are, you know, we just do what we do, you know. We take it day by day. And that's the best way to do it. You know, we call the shots, we make the moves, um, and if people don't like it, it's their hard luck, you know. The only thing that, that really interests me is now making the music and doing, and doing the films for the music, and that's it, you know what I mean, and the imagery towards the music. Everything else is just a kind of a thing that has to be done. That's the way I look at it now. I'm talking about making films for the music. You. I know you're interested in films. Do you mm. think you'll you'll carry on doing that, or is it just going to be um, while you're doing the band, or do you think you'll sort of spear off yeah. to it as a career, or what? I suppose at the moment it's just a kind of hobby, just because I've got the equipment to make the films. And I have got a few ideas for um, exploitation films for the future. And I'm not going to make anything half-hearted, because I don't see the point in it. And at the moment I think I would make something half-hearted, because I'm busy doing other things. But I mean, eventually, I think I will start kind of getting more into kind of, I'd quite like to obviously direct a few films. I don't 
don't know how. I mean, just now I'm just playing about with images, with videos, you know, like, with Backwards Dog, I kind of filmed half and half of the video, like, did I know direct, I've done a half and I've done half of it, and we just threw everything together and edited, to, edited it all together. So I'm, I'm kind of starting at the bottom and working up, you know. Well, would that be to the detriment of the band, then? Do you think that you'll end up sort of doing, be more interested in films rather than the music, or what? Well, I mean, that's, I think films, in a way, kind of, um, make me want to make music, if you know what I mean? They kind of um, give me ideas, give me a get up and go to make music. I sit and watch a film, it creates images in my head.